Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech, and tonight uh, we're using the uh, uh, Pop Voice mic again, just because of the volume improvement I noticed on it today. Uh, it just works really well. That's the uh, PV510 Plus. Uh, it'll be linked in the description below, which nobody ever reads, apparently. Uh, and we're shooting on the Mi A2, as usual. So, what you all need to do for me is to watch the whole video. But first, let's check out the intro, and I'll be right back with our subject matter, which is the Mi A2 tonight. Since I'm tired of hearing about the iPhone 11. Hi right, folks, I'm back. So today we're going to talk about the Mi A2 a little and uh, why it's such a great phone. I actually took it out today without a case on it. No case. What, are you crazy? Well, sort of. It's pretty slippery. Uh, but uh, to put it mildly, you cannot put a fingerprint on the back. I have a black version. Good luck putting a fingerprint on the back of that phone. Or this phone. Um, the link, of course, to it is in the description below. Uh, I did find a glitch on it today, though. When you plug in, like, a lavalier mic, which shows up as a little headset, uh, and go to video using the regular camera, guess what? Not so good. It'll record for a few seconds and then just turn off as if you were in short video mode. No idea why. It's a glitch. Unlikely Xiaomi will ever fix that, but in general, if you want to use the lavalier mic. So I couldn't even test to see if the mic was working on the you know, normal app. Uh, open camera works just dandy. Uh, and uh, what else we got going on here? Oh, uh, you can find this phone now. 159 is the best price I found for it uh, so far, uh, which is pretty reasonable, uh, except it's out of stock right now in the black until the 27th of September. They have like one left in blue and one left in white different sellers of course but all on Amazon Prime speaking of which I remember I talked about the uh, getting cable in here once again today I shot that video that we saw earlier about the uh, uh, U deck charging pad which should arrive here tomorrow I just checked uh, tracking and last I checked it's still in Virginia but the postal service is notorious for slow updates although I expect one to ring up here anytime because I'm shooting a video however I did get to watch a movie today. At, right after I shot that video, I sat back, went to uh, you know, Amazon Prime, and you get know, all the movies, all oh, a bunch of movies and TV shows and stuff like that. I'm not going to watch any TV shows. I don't want to get addicted. But I watched uh, Real Lobo with John Wayne. Great movie, by the way. Uh, if you don't know who John Wayne is, you're obviously too young 
to uh, understand. Really good acting without a bunch of crap. Just a basic movie. Uh, and then I went and checked my media account, cable account. Went up one gig. No big deal. Now, I would have panicked on that. Uh, yeah, when I was just using this phone or any of the other phones as my Wi-Fi hotspot, because yeah, AT&T gives you, you know, that much. If you want to have a prepaid account where you can hotspot it, because if you get a regular account, you're not supposed to be hotspot, like an unlimited. So, so far, simply by having cable internet in here, for $39.99 a month. And of course I supplied my own cable modem, which is saving me 10 bucks a month. Uh, I am just rocking out. I'm at 95 gig, and they installed it on the 30th. I've been watching movies left and right. I watched The Commuter. Yesterday, I watched a bunch of Liam Neeson films because he just does really good action films. And uh, let's face it, muzzle, yeah, got a 22 inch monitor right behind the. Uh, camera here, or the phone sitting on the Impow tripod. Uh, so, I also got a fly in here. And he, he's going to die before the night's over. Uh, I will kill him. Um, but it was just great to you know, be able to pick out a movie and watch it and not worry. But let's go over that number again. We're up to like 95 gig right now. That's not even 25% of the 400 gig I get. Meaning I can shoot at the full 1080p, 30 frames a second. We're not shooting 4K, folks. Most of the people aren't going to watch in 4K. And frankly, I don't... Well... Frankly, there's not enough storage space on the Mi A2 here. Right now I'm at uh, 23.4 gigabytes uh, available or used. Uh, I don't remember which one it's showing me. Uh, so, it's a balancing act because, well, the folks at the uh, Xiaomi decided to not put in the expandable storage on the Mi A3. You'll get that, but then you get the freaking notch. And I'm not buying any phone with a teardrop, a hole, or a notch. And neither should you. It's just the stupidest idea since I... Uh, electric cars that use lead acid batteries. Uh, so all that being said, in about I don't know, 12 hours here, we'll have the video on the charging pad. It will arrive in the morning sometime, we hope. And uh, in the meantime, I'm I'm very satisfied with this phone. It's a fantastic phone for your average user, your budget user. It works exceedingly well. The dongle, of course, I mean, a headphone jack would have been great. Yeah, there is a Mi A2 light, and this, the light has the headphone jack. Don't know why. 
Sometimes you got to wonder about these Chinese companies. Uh, but the only glitch that I found so far with it is the uh, deal with using the regular camera with the dongle and uh, external mic. It just shot what would normally be if you selected short video, a few seconds or something. We'll edit this in Power Director and please like and subscribe to our channel. And we'll catch you in the morning with that new video on a new product. Thanks for watching. And dear God, I don't ever want to see another iPhone 11 review, comparison, or whatever. Every single one of the reviewers I trust. Oh, the iPhone 11. Or most of them are just focusing on the 11 itself. Hey, video review, comparison. Audio, microphones, enough advertising for the jackasses at Apple who cheated the United States government out of $15 billion in taxes when they moved their headquarters to Ireland where they had like four people sitting answering the phone, transferring it back to Cupertino. No different than some of the oil companies have done avoiding their obligation as an American corporation to America to pay their taxes. So we'll leave it at that, and uh, we'll catch you tomorrow.